More family secrets involving a Miami couple accused of abusing their children are revealed. Bruised, hungry, dirty. That's how a former principal remembers 10-year-old Nubia doctor and her twin brother Victor when they came to school. This wasn't the only complaint. A child advocacy group fought to keep Jorge and Carmen Barahona from adopting the children. News Channel 5's Rochelle Ritchie has the details tonight, all new at 11. Rochelle? President well, McKelly, much of what is in this stack is about little Nubia, the girl found dead in the back of the pickup. It appears many thought something was wrong and did, in fact, report it. But no matter how strong their case, the children were placed into a life of pain. It's a history filled with abuse, pain, and neglect. Victor Barahona and his twin sister, Nubia, born into a world of unspeakable heartache. Clearly, it appears to me that DCF dropped the ball. Alan Mincer was an employee at Guardian and Lightham 10 years ago. He didn't work the Barahona case, but says he knows how conflicts can arise between DCF and Guardian at Lightham employees. Sometimes the DCF people don't... Um cooperate as much as a guardian would like them to. According to the document spanning a period of four years, a guardian at Lightham attorney tried to keep the Barahonas from getting permanent custody of Victor and Nubia, an admission by the secretary of DCF. Yes, guardian at Lightham did raise several fa flags. Teachers and principals have suspected problems in the home in February of 2006. One principal reported that Nubia came to school with a large bruise and scratches on her neck and back. The girl said she had fallen and no one had hit her. The principal also said Nubia appears scared of her foster mother and had missed 17 days of school in three months. It was very clear that some of the news that's coming out now that there was warning signs. Despite the visible marks, Jorge and Carmen Barahona maintained the children were healthy, happy, and well cared for. In 2008, desperate to speed up the adoption process and address the allegations of abuse, the couple wrote to former Governor Charlie Chris, documenting their profound admiration for the children, saying, We are home raising our children with love as any father and mother would do, and we stood up for them to protect them. The children were eventually adopted, removed from public school, and homeschooled. Something could have prevented that. Action could have prevented that. And they could have taken action, and they didn't, and look at the result. And Jorge Barahona, Barahona remains in jail. There have still been no charges filed against the adoptive mother, Carmen. I'm Michelle Ritchie, WPTV, News Channel 5.